Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's... <laughs> no, honestly, all right. I just can't do it, not today. Not today. Um, I got an interview offer. <laughs> I actually got an interview offer. I just I just can't believe it, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, um, I got an offer for Deacon. Uh, Deacon was my first preference and yeah. <laughs> pretty great it's pretty great really it's quite a nice feeling I kind of it's great to kind of feel like my hard work is kind of finally paying off I suppose it's pretty easy in times like this to see the goal of getting into medicine or that preliminary goal of getting an interview offer and using it as a goalpost and just shifting it another 50 meters back to go okay I've got the interview offer great push it out of my mind next goal is getting into medicine and then you get into medicine and the next goal is all right we've got our hds all semester and you actually kind of end up forgetting to acknowledge all the hard work and all the effort you've put in to actually achieve these goals that you're working towards and overall you just end up forgetting to like be happy with yourself and be proud of yourself i'm kind of catching myself doing this a little bit now because i got my offer and already i'm thinking all right i've got to get straight into that interview hustle mindset i've got to get down i've got to grind i've got hard i've got to prepare when you really gotta, I, I think I need to take stock a bit more and give myself a little bit more credit for the achievement that I've actually realized. So I've definitely been trying to consciously remind myself of all the effort that I put in to get here and really trying to acknowledge all the work that I've put in and that I should be proud and I should be happy with myself and let myself take a moment and take stock of what's just happened. And I believe, I think we all should, we all should be taking a moment just to sit back look at all the work we've put in and just being proud and happy of ourselves to, for, for at least giving it a go. Whether we got interview offers or not, it doesn't matter. We all should be incredibly proud of ourselves for the hard work and the effort we've put in to get here. So many people just never take that first step to trying to realize or achieve their dreams and you have, so you should be proud of that. If you didn't get an offer this year, then just keep at it, okay? The difference between realizing your greatest potential and not is the capacity to stand up again when we're knocked down. So hang in there, keep trying, and you'll get there eventually. Learn from this application and try again next year. So pretty much over this whole process, and especially in like the last couple of weeks, I've been really, really trying to stay away from like Reddit and social media because I just didn't want that looming deadline of interviews approaching just in front of me all day, every day. Like I wanted to give myself the chance to step away and stop thinking about it. Cause I feel that if we constantly are reminding ourselves of this big upcoming event in our lives, that it can put too much pressure on the situation and ultimately serve as a negative experience when it really shouldn't be. Honestly, I didn't even know that interview offers were getting released yesterday at all. Like apparently someone from Gemsys tweeted that they'd be out yesterday. So everybody was like on edge, ready and prepared. But yeah, I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> and I'm absolutely just so thankful for this because if I did know, I can absolutely guarantee I would have spent the whole day on the floor just refreshing my emails, absolutely nonstop waiting for that email. And it would have just driven me absolutely insane. It was actually kind of funny really because I just periodically checked my emails throughout the day and it got to about 12.30 and just bang. There it was. Naturally, my whole body just went into absolute shock. As soon as I saw that email ID from Gemsys, like my heart and my body just sank. I just went, oh dear God. And then as soon as you open it up and you see that congratulations, it was just whew, massive sigh of relief. And my, I felt like a massive weight had just been lifted off my shoulders. And ever since then, I've just felt this really nice feeling of calmness and it's, really really nice feeling and I haven't felt stressed but I feel like probably over the last couple of months I've definitely either it's been subconscious or I've been really really repressing it quite successfully but yeah, I just feel like I just feel so light and it's such an mm, and it just feels really really good an aspect of that is probably due to the fact that I've always known since starting out and since realizing that medicine is where I wanted to go I've always known that the interview will always be my strongest suit. Like the, all the academic stuff, the games, all of that, I, I'm not that great at that, but I can talk to people and I've 
always known that if I get an interview offer, I'll get into medicine. <laughs> not really stressing too much about that. You know, not yet anyway. The interview is actually a really good opportunity too because it's the only part in the selection process where you actually give the selection team the chance to see who you are as an actual human being. It allows them to see that you're actually a genuine human being and you can show them your individuality and your unique traits that will make you a great doctor and a great benefit to the healthcare system as a whole. Because I find that's exactly why the interviews are there. They're not there to ask you specific clinical questions or to try and gauge your reasoning and complex understanding of some things where they try and throw curveballs at you all day. They're really just trying to assess that you're a genuine human being and that you care about people and you're gonna be a good fit for the role. That's why I think it's really important to let your individuality and your unique traits really shine through so that they're aware that you do actually possess these abilities. At least, that's what I'm gonna try and do anyway. Baby. I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the grave Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels Yeah, now that- But, maybe not too much So yeah pretty bloody happy with myself at the moment. If you got an interview offer, then congrats. That's wonderful, it's great news. I'm so, I'm so happy for you too. Like, you've done a great job, you've worked hard, and the hard work has paid off. Stay relaxed, stay calm, and prepare. Remember, you can only do as good as you can. If you didn't get an offer, you should still be really proud of yourself. I am still super proud of you because you've taken a step towards realizing your dream of medicine. So hang in there, it's not the end of the world. Remember that this degree does not define who you are as a human being and as an individual. Take this time to learn from the experience, grow and mature a little bit as a person and come back next year with a new perspective and a clear head. Take care of yourself all. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below about whether you got into medicine or not and what medical school you got into. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, see yous.